Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium and oracle and a prophetess you guys which means I uh, I get all of my channeling and my messages from um, from the divine, from from Mother Earth, from from nature, from from the from from the wind, from a from the sun, from from the birds, right, and the animals and numbers and all the things, right. I use the cards to connect to you guys um, to clarify the messages. But in a reading, I don't need them. So welcome, welcome. If you guys are new here, welcome. I just want to take a moment to show some appreciation, okay? Um. This is obviously, um, you guys have seen the title, so you know why you're here. This is going to be a um, general uh, collective reading for the collective of Cancer, beautiful Cancers. We are um, at the end of your guys' birthday season. Um, we have the Thinking Woman showing up, uh, which is card number 47. This could be someone's age. This could be... Um, an 11 which breaks down to a two you guys have been really um it's a thinking woman so so cancer is my loves we're just we're just jumping right in we're just jumping right in okay so this is for for cancers um you know anyone who has cancer placements in their chart or doesn't even matter if you have cancer in your chart um you guys are going to be affected by by what's going on with with the cancer collective so if you're cross watching or you just clicked on this video because of the title then you're here for a reason you guys don't ever let zodiac stuff um sway you from a beautiful message that your intuition says yeah listen see you're, you're doing a lot of thinking i'm hearing soul searching i just heard rebuttal some of you guys could be like um you know, you could work like in, uh, like as a lawyer, right? Like maybe you're, you know, you, you work in that where you're, um, in like rebuttals or maybe you're even in politics. I don't know. I feel like someone is coming forth with a rebuttal. I feel like someone, um, wants to go, yeah, but here's my side. Okay. They want to, they want to speak their, their side or their case to you. Okay. They want to, they want to they want to rebut the um the opinion or the ending or the whatever the situation is between you guys um this could be you also cancer you guys could be the ones um doing this You guys have, I'm hearing fully awoken. Many of you cancers out there, you're gonna resonate with this, okay? You guys, your your light is beaming really high, okay? So if you have found this channel, it means that you are a very, you know, everyone here on this earth is very special, but it means that you're a light warrior. You're, you're, you're special of the light. You've started some type of an awakening, right? Like where you've been led to esoteric um, things, divination, tarot, right? And um, you've been divinely led to this channel, which is a pillar of light for all light workers. Um, who are seeking a place that they call home, right? Here on earth. And this is Soul Tribe. So welcome home, my loves, if you're new. Anyways, I did want to take a moment to say thank you to all of the new subscribers here and to all of you guys who have been here with me, um, you know, joining the tribe through this journey. You know, it doesn't matter if you joined right this second or you've been here, you know, since day one for the last, you know, year. Thank you. We're in this together, my loves. And I feel like that's relevant to you, Cancer. I feel like someone here who you think a lot about. Now they think about you too. There's been a lot of thought. Air energy. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I was drawn into the 47 and then I said that's an 11. And then I said it breaks down to a 2. And now we have a 2 in the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is about the soul's journey. I'm hearing redemption. You're experiencing redemption in your life, okay? This is that type of thing where you guys have been slaying the demons. You guys have been slaying the karmic lessons. You guys have been, you, I'm hearing jumping through hoops, right? You guys have been like, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 right? You guys are like going crazy in life. Blocking, shielding, blocking, shielding. 
You guys are no longer like the water energy where you're like, ah, my emotions are controlling me and I'm all like screwed up and what's happening? No, you guys like got all that in check. You guys have risen above, head above water. You guys are able to discern the thinking woman. I'm getting very queen of swords vibes from this actually. But something about the two. So there's an 11, a two. So the 11s is like, you know, it's a, it's, it's an awakening. It's a divine angel master number, right? 11, 11, Archangel Metatron, Metatron's cube. You're definitely dealing with some of you guys you're connected to. This is a really deep soul connection that you share with someone here, okay? Now we have, as soul beings, many soul ties in our lifetime. Essentially, every person we encounter is some type of soul tie, right? Whether there's someone who rings us up at the grocery store and we have a conversation with them, right? That's like an, a, like a soul tie, but it's like just, right? Like we're, we're soul ties because we're soul beings having human experiences. Do you know what I mean? You're done with your, with your, uh, you're done with like the karmic soul ties for now. Now, th what I mean by this is love, love. I feel like she's been reading novels, romance novels. Maybe you have. Maybe you've been watching rom-coms and, right? But this is a way and this is a form of manifesting. You're getting exactly what you what you what you put out there. Cancers. And 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 this is again thinking woman. It's about the thoughts. Thoughts become things. You know, words is, is a form of spelling. So, you know, be very mindful of what you speak, right? Because you're speaking things into existence. I feel like this is all relevant. You guys have started doing all of this. You become more self-aware on a soul level. Enlightened. Oh, enlightened for sure, my loves. You have 34 showing up, a seven. Oh, and the bottom of the deck. A 16, another seven. So we have seven, seven showing up here, my loves. And right as I look up, we got seven, 11. You could be seeing a lot of sevens. And then again, I just talked all about the 11s. Seven, one, seven just caught my eye. So these are all sinks for you guys. Whoever's gonna watch this, write these numbers down. The 11, 11, you probably are very familiar with. Maybe you're just learning about this stuff because you just recently started awakening. The angels are showing up here. You have a very... um important mission here it's as if she's coming from you know the highest of holy white light right like look at her she's coming down and she's handing you a clock and it's almost as if she's going it's like an initiation it's time all right so what this means here for me you've got the rainbows the doves you see the lotus flowers here in the pond again a lot of ascension rebirth connecting with the angelic realms your higher self your your door to to un, limitless possibilities has opened everything is aligning okay it's like i got the whole world in my hands overflowing abundance overflowing love self-love beauty uh you know this is all about like humble humble energy humility you've gone through it you've shed the the skin you've shed the layers you're 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 walking side by side right like in alignment with like the ancestors and like all of your light warriors and you're just like yeah like we're linked up right it's a celebration every time we link up G -g -g greatness is what we're on the brink of little Nicki Minaj okay so I feel like uh some of you guys you actually one of your spiritual gifts is 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 like a quantum healing type thing where you have the energy you have the ability like you can tap in really well where you timeline jump like no other that's why you're like you're being handed a clock too this also shows it's time the time is now patience is a virtue you you've learned that's why you're being blessed by the angels with all the stuff happening now at this time see the temple path you've stayed in alignment with your divine path and now it's opening up okay abundance is flowing you guys could be seeing a lot of like light orbs or catching a lot of like really beautiful light orbs in like your pictures, photos, but there's just a lot of like a uh, beautiful angelic energy around you. And here you are, Cancers, okay? Moon energy. The goddess of the moon. 
It's like the priestess, the high priestess, you know? <sighs> Very intuitive. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we have this kind of energy showing up right here. From me, this is Yeshua. This is Jesus. His real name is Jesh Yeshua. There's been a lot of deceit on your journey. You've, you've, you've known a lot of loss. You've known a lot of constraint, a lot of financial constraint. People are now, you know, um, you know, you've been deceived, but like no ones who are deceived, they've deceived you, right? They are experiencing this now. You see, there is no running from judgment or karma. And we are not here to go, oh, that person's going to get theirs. They're going to get their karma. That is like the most low vibration. That is a given. That is like, thanks, Captain Obvious, for stating the obvious over and over. You know what I mean? And it just shows that you're still in your ego if you're saying that kind of stuff against people who have wronged you. Because you're not coming from a place of love. You're coming from a place of they're going to get the word, theirs. That's revenge. You see, but this, but the universe is showing up here quite literally. The world, the universe, this is like the world card, right? So this is the universe showing up quite literally, and they're going. You've closed the cycles, Cancer. Here you go. Here is everything that you've ever wanted. You've been healing. Um, some of you guys, you have a very powerful masculine. Okay, this is either a twin flame or a soulmate who has taken back some kind of control they've learned to alchemize okay they've learned they've, they've they've started using alchemy and they have healed themselves for the first time ever truly this is their galactic heart beaming okay um pack your bags i just heard pack your bags and she has that suitcase right there you guys could be going on a vacation planning a trip spirit is saying if you feel okay if you think with lack you're gonna receive more lack right so you guys have really kind of figured it out you you've you've cracked the code you've you figured out the 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 secrets of the universe do you know what i mean by using your intuition and your spidey senses here's the thing you guys thought we weren't going to talk about love. Of course, we're going to talk about love. Here's the thing. Your patience has, it's, it's a virtue, right? You're very virtuous. As you shed these layers, you become more virtuous, right? You've, uh, you become, um, more angelic is what I'm hearing, right? So there's these new beginnings here, right? Okay. So boom, I told you someone took back their power. There is a very powerful masculine Archangel Shemuel showing up third chakra, solar plexus, your power center. What are they taking control of? Love. Love. They, 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 that's what they're taking control of. So this person is in love with you. Look, you guys have contracts. Okay. You guys have, woo. See, as I'm talking about the solar plexus region, I get an activation here. Like it's like a, right? Totally random. Now I feel like I need to burp. This has been happening in my readings, you guys. If you've been watching my collectives, I've been purging. Like, you know, I'm an extreme empath extreme empath when i say like i mean i ex extreme empath you guys so i i i transmute and i purge on a daily basis all day long in readings with people and for the collective like it's just is what it is you know what i'm hearing Power of love. Celine Dion. Power of love. Power of love. <laughs> Someone is realizing the power of love. And they are like, what's happening? I need to bring some balance in my life. All of a sudden, they're starting to get balance in like a lot of ways. Because they've been healing. Like I said. Um... And this person is seeing you in a whole new light. You see, this person didn't appreciate you before. They did not appreciate you or whatever. But you you show so much appreciation to your own self. You hold yourself in high regard that people don't have a choice but to respect you and appreciate you. Right? You dem it's like your 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 essence demands it. You're you're not you're not here to play small. And you're not gonna put up with people's 
you know, uh, you know, 3D projections and, and shit. Because you've been through enough broken hearts, all right? So this person is now appreciating you. They're broken hearted. And now look who's showing up before I tie up the reading and we head over into the extended. In the extended, my loves, we're going to dig in more of who this person is. We're going to be using the animal spirit. Um, and then we're going to dig into the tea and get some love messages also. Okay. So my loves, my beautiful cancers, happy birthday season. Happy birthday. If any of you guys want to book a personal session with me, a psychic session, right? Um, down below you guys. Okay. And, uh, if you want to order a handmade Lemurian, uh, copper wiring pendant infused with magical jujus from me, Reiki healing for you, specific to you. Okay. This is gridded for you, right? Um, and, and, and encoded for you. And I infuse light language healing for, for you. It's basically like spiritual battery packs and activators. So there's that. And then also I'm doing private tarot lessons at the moment, you guys. So it's all down below. Anyways, my loves, you have your match showing up here. And what they've been thinking about this whole time is the fact that what they showed you in the past or whatever happened, they feel like they didn't appreciate you. They didn't show you appreciation. It breaks their heart when they think about you. The very last card out in your reading in this one and uh, the very first card out in your, in your reading are the counterparts, the thinking woman and the thinking man. Very first card out, you and then your, your counterpart here. All right. I feel twin flame. Um, just be, I'm getting heavy twin flame energy and I just got like chills all up my like right arm, like here, um, which is the masculine side. Yeah. Look right after the thinking man is the yes card of the tarot, the sun, Leo. It's also enlightenment, awakening, right? So many masculines, they are doing a lot of purging, cleansing. It's everybody, you guys. It's not just them, but they're, yeah, it's hitting them pretty hard. Dredging up a lot here, a lot of clearing. We have Chiron, the planet, uh, it, you know, of healing, the healing planet. It's in retrograde right now. <laughs> so it's like really got them in this headspace here. Of, of, of thinking and clearing and thinking and clearing and thinking and clearing. And as they think and clear, it's you, right? Every time, see? And there there's a lot of sexual energy built up here that um, that they are actually, what I'm hearing is uh, they're actually using this energy to um, to create. So they're, they're also in a place of, you know, um, starting projects, creating, they're, um, they're alchemizing. So it's really beautiful. So I will catch you guys over in the extended, my loves. If you wish to, to, um, buy or rent that, you can find all the info down below in the description box. You just click on the little upside down arrow and the link and everything is down there. So love and light, namaste and happy July. Bye guys.